Fox of Fans here. I'm here with Waterway contender Carson Jones. You just went four uh, spirited rounds with Miguel Cotto. Uh, how was the work, man? How was that was, experience? Uh, uh, you saw it. You know, you know the West, but uh, it's good work. Good working with the one of the best in the world. Uh, you know, that's what that's what it's all about. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm testing myself as well as giving him good work. So, yeah, you. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, when did, did you start coming to Big Bear, like with Abel Sanchez? How did that come about? Actually, the first time I was here, it was with Chavez Jr. I was helping him get ready for a fight uh, back yeah. in '09, and mm -hmm. uh, me and Abel just kind of chatting it up a little bit. Uh, years later, I was looking for a trainer, and uh, I had came off. I think I had just moved to 147, and uh, I just called him up and pretty much was like, you know, can you help me out? And we started back in 2011, and now we're here. Um, speaking of Miguel Cotto, what do you think of his fight with Austin Trout? Uh, what, how do you assess that? Uh, it's a tough fight. Austin's younger. Uh, you know, he's hungry. He, he's he's trying to make a name for himself. He's a world champion already, but he doesn't have that name. So, uh, you know, he. Uh, I think it's a tough fight for, for Miguel. And you had a very uh, spirited fight with Kel Brook. Um, you know, he, he got off kind of to a fast start, but you kind of you adapted and down the stretch you came on strong. What, what was that experience like? It was fun. Uh, I should have... I thought I, you know, pulled pulled, pulled the victory out. Uh, if not, it could have been a draw. But uh, yeah. it was. I should have started earlier. And maybe, maybe I would have stopped him. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully we get a rematch one day. He just fought Saturday against South Divia yeah. and won. So hopefully he beats Alexander, and then maybe we can get on for a world title. What do you think about him and Devin Alexander? What? How I think he beats Devin Alexander. I think he stops him. He, he's he's accurate. He's an accurate puncher. Yeah. De Devin is just. Uh, I don't really think he has a big punch. Yeah. Uh, he just he's just flashy and. Does a lot of punches, but uh, I think I think he stops Devin. Now you you have to be one of the best fighters with you know seven losses on your record. Like your record is very deceiving nine. of the nine. <laughs> par, pardon me, your your record is very deceiving of the fighter you are. Could you just tell me kind of about just you know kind of getting past some of those losses and learning from it? Man, I'm blessed. Uh, God, some somebody up there is looking out for me because you know a loss these days is like a death. That's like a death sentence. You know you have yeah. a loss, and you, you, especially not to mention nine. It's, it's very hard to come back from that. So I mean, you know, it's, I give all my my victory to God, and uh, I'm lucky to be able to come back from that. Uh, with the help of Abel Sanchez, you know, yeah. and the right team behind me, I was able to put together these wins and you know get get world rated by the IBF. Uh, so hopefully one day I get to fight for a world title. Did Did you get like did a lot of great sparring during those days? Kind of like do you feel that what that helped you kind of become the fighter you are? Maybe. Uh, I think with I'm just. Strong willed. Uh, mm -hmm. The losses you learn more from losses than you do from mm -hmm. wins. I said this before. Obviously, you know mm -hmm. I, I had a lot of on on the job training. Mm -hmm. um, those losses not not only you know made me think, it made me you know grow as a fighter and as a man too. So. All right, Carson. Thanks a lot.